Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Leo. I'm the creative director at Arachnid Games, and for the past three years, my team and I have been working on this game. This is Diluvian. It's a underwater adventure uh, inspired by Jules Verne and 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Of course, the kind of steampunk style. Delivian's a game about exploration. Uh, it's set in a sunken world. Uh, there's no surface that is known of. If we go up, all we're going to see is just icebergs. Um, the peoples of this world have actually tried drilling through it, but to no avail, so... Nobody alive uh, at the current time has ever actually seen the surface. It's a world of myth. Um, and that takes you to kind of the role that you play in this game. So I'm playing as a captain. This is my submarine. Inside we can see some of my crew members. These are actually all the crew members that I've hired um, on my path so far. I'm actually a few hours into the game right now. Um, and my, my goal as a player is to just get to the deepest point in the ocean. Um, there's a lot of legends that tell of a treasure at the deepest point in the ocean. I'm not going to get into what it is, because that's kind of what the plot in the opening cutscene does. Um, but I'm going to show you some of the features. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll start with exploration and salvaging. I've just found a abandoned workshop here. So I'm going to go ahead and dock with this, because there might be some good salvage inside. Okay, got some treasure in here. There's also a person sleeping. Want to hire the best sailor in the ocean? Okay, so this is an important point. There's a lot of places where you'll find these sailors, and these are actually procedurally generated. Um, and yeah, they'll just kind of have different stats that have to do with the jobs in your ship. She's actually too expensive, I don't have that much money. Although, great stats, I would love to hire you, but bye. So yeah, the stuff that I grabbed there I can actually sell off at a merchant, or uh, some of it can be used as resources. But let's talk more about crews. So in here... Um, got these kind of spherical sections of the ship. Uh, this big green one here is the crew quarters. This is where any crew that aren't working right now will just kind of go chill out. This guy's playing the bongos. Um, sleep, whatever. So any crew that are in the crew quarters can actually repair damage to your ship. Um, that, that'll be their default task. Uh, up here this is the helm station. So any of these smaller stations I can control um, who's working in them. So if we check out the helm station you can actually see the stats for this station. I want to make sure that I'm adding the crew with the right stats. So what I'm looking for is speed and uh, that is controlled by the endurance of the sailor. So by adding this guy, I can get quite a bit more engine power, thus making my ship faster. And that's the paradigm that all of these stations work by. So your guns, torpedoes, sonar, it all kind of works by that. Finding the crew member with the right stats and putting them in there. Let's see if I can get someone good in the sonar station, so I'm looking for intelligence. Alright. Get a better charge time there. Uh, speaking of sonar, well, this is sonar. Uh, the world is quite large, and your view distance pretty short, being that it's the ocean. So sonar is what you use to kind of get a scope of the landscape around you, and also to uh, get these signatures. So the better 
uh, quality signature that your sonar officer can get, the more perks there are. Um, basically, the lowest quality one is this just dot where they know the position of an object. But as you get a better sonar signature, you can actually use it for weapons, like torpedoes can lock onto it and your guns can expose a lead. Um, you can also get the name of whatever it is. Another thing to be mindful about with sonar is that by sending out these pings, I'm actually exposing myself to other ships that are out there. Uh, so there will be times where you'll be approached by pirates after you've been pinging a lot. Alright, so found some more good salvage here. Each of these salvages is actually procedurally placed. Now that's not to say that everything in the game is. Um, we designed this terrain by hand, and there's actually a full campaign and quest line, which uh, that's all predetermined, um, just because there's a story we wanted to tell. Uh, but of course the world is pretty big and uh, just populating the random salvage by hand didn't make much sense. So. I have a door here, so actually I can risk one of my sailors to get this, but because I have a key item, I'm just going to go ahead and use that. There's extra good loot inside. High value stuff. All right. Got something interesting over here. Okay, so I've just discovered a new landmark. And landmarks are kind of unique structures that you'll find throughout the zone. Now, the cool thing about that is landmarks get added to your compass. So, it, basically, the more landmarks you find, the easier it'll be to navigate that particular zone. You can also check out my map here and see all the landmarks that I've found so far. Uh, your position is intentionally left out of the map because um, we kind of want it to be more about using your compass and map to get a bearing of where you are. Check out this little research capsule attached to this landmark. Alright. So landmarks are also really helpful for getting a bearing if you're on a quest, or if you have a destination. Um, there's these golden fish, which will actually kind of guide you to the next step of your journey. Um, these guys always hang around landmarks, so if you're ever lost, you can just find the nearest landmark and um, kind of get a pointer in the right direction. Alright, so we've got a pirate hanging around here. This guy looks like he might be a hostile. I'm gonna see if I can get more hands in my guns. Oof. Looks like I've just crippled a ship. Let's see what's inside. Alright, so there's some loot I can grab. Also, looks like there's a surviving crew member here. Alright, I don't have enough money for you, man. <laughs> Beggars can be choosers. Well, 
this. He shouldn't have charged so much. Oh yeah, I gotta shut off the ocean currents. Okay, so... Um, yeah, ocean currents are great for getting around the zone quickly. Um, there's a lot of these that kind of cycle around the zone, so as you explore you'll kind of get an idea of where these are headed. Uh, shoot, okay. So it looks like I'm running low on time. Uh, I kind of got to discuss a lot of what I wanted to talk about. Uh, of course, there's a lot more to the game, but these are sort of the main features that um, are the driving force behind it. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. And uh, peace. I'm Leo with Arachnid Games, and this is... Deluvian. Bye!